Good morning, guys. So before we go out and do that patio today, we have to stop by a client's house and plant an azalea bush and put down some talpert worms to take care of these uh, moles that we have. We're going to worms because the natural stuff doesn't work. It's really expensive. So we are going to the Talpert worms here and we charge $100 a box to put these in the ground. There's 20 worms. Uh, the cost of this is almost $59, I think, or 60 bucks. So we charge 100 to put it in the ground if we're doing 20 worms. Also to plant the azalea, we charge $90. I'll show you how big it is. Um, we warranty our plants for a year and going forward, not this planting forward, we're gonna start using what's called Cortec and put it into with the plantings when we plant them. Um, thanks to a subscriber mentioning it, I talked to site one, they explained everything about it. So we are gonna start doing that. And then we're gonna go get a plate compactor, go pick up Rachel and get back up there and start doing this patio. So let's get out and do this real quick guys and then go get the plate compactor. So this is the azalea I planted. It's a dwarf gumbo pink azalea. So we put it here really easy to dig and I left it up if you notice a couple inches because we are mulching these beds in a couple weeks. But I just wanted to get this planted since I'm over here doing the worms. Oh, that's a loud plane. So look how thick this lawn is. We're not going to mow. If you see all the brown on the top, this is all damaged from the nine degree freeze we got a hard freeze all the lawns got damaged at the tips but this is growing in nice and thick could be mowed but we're gonna wait until next week so let's do a little drive drive by you guys seen the last one this is another one um we do looking nice this one really doesn't need to be mowed we are cutting that um laurel mountain laurel all the way down halfway and heavily spraying this one and then if you look over there that other mountain laurel we're ripping that out ripping the azalea out moving the azalea to the back that's going to be fun it's a big one um but that's in another couple of weeks and our next project we're doing after we're done the big mulch job in the patio is that one T 12 yards of mulch we're pruning back the boxwood hedge 12 yards of mulch and we're ripping out all the abelia in there and then plants and we're planting something new and that lawn looks good uh, we mow this one too if you guys remember we cut back them right there they're filling in okay it's telling me I need to put my seatbelt on before I go we're gonna go pick up our plate compactor hopefully it fits in the back seat and then all the little tree buds and stuff are falling, so I'm going to have to blow. Good morning, good boss. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. I went and got some things done, picked up a plate compactor. You guys seen we planted an azalea bush. But it is still um, morning. Yeah, it is still morning. I did that. I got up early this morning, guys. I was up at 6.45, 7 o'clock. And normally, we don't get up until a little bit later. We're not early birds. Yeah, we're but night owls. As we get into the season, we're going to start getting up earlier and earlier because the plan is I'm going to go mow for the first three hours in the morning. Rachel's going to teach, and then I'm going to come back, and we're going to hit it hard all the way in the afternoon and try to get done yeah. early, right? Some days, I don't even need that yeah. much time. No. I Like, Chase is really self-sufficient, so it's just making sure that he knows what needs to be done for the day. So, so yeah. So today, Rachel's going to use a plate compactor for the first time. Yeah, I have never used a plate compactor. Usually, it's Carl doing all the tamping, and he hand tamps And I've it. never used a plate compactor neither. But we need to get this done a little faster and yeah. use less stress on my body. Yeah, hand tamping all this stuff down. Right, because we're still moving rock and. Yeah, we don't. I stuff. don't know if this is going to be the last load of the ABC we need. I got to put everything to where I'm going to put my final dimensions to finish the top of the uh pavers mm -hmm. now i know we already have two three inches back there already and then with this it'll probably bring it up more but there might be some lower spots that i had so we'll figure all that out and then get yeah. that going rachel cool. would really like to by the end of the day have hopefully that whole side laid out in that pavers, would be right? really nice so so we'll see guys. hopefully we're not being overzealous but no. let's get it done well we're working till dark no matter what okay so 
Okay, guys, so we are going to start compacting this down. I'm going to get a brick. I think we're going to end up coming up to right about the bottom of this other foundation. Probably need to come up a little bit more on that. So we'll see. the river is today guys yeah wow yesterday we were completely rained out we ended up getting what was it three to five inches of rain in our area in our yeah where we live now up in Asheville they only got like an inch inch and a half mm -hmm. as where we're going up here but down by us there was a swath that we got heavy rain all the way down into South Carolina we are going to take the scenic route yeah, because this is what you deal with when you're going to night crew. Yeah, when you go to night crew, you got to deal with traffic at night, the, the evening traffic, people that are actually going home from work. Yeah. When Not like the employee home. has to go back to work <laughs> until night. And she even mentioned bringing the flashlight, but she didn't. No, I didn't. We'll leave that for tomorrow night <laughs> if we need lights to finish up. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go onto the Blue Ridge Parkway because this cuts all the traffic out and we don't have our trailer, so. Yeah. We'll go for a little scenic ride. They own all kinds of vehicles on the bridge. Oh man, they got a couple for you? <laughs> yeah. They don't need it now, right? No. <laughs> we're in the home stretch of this project. Yeah. There's the North Carolina Arboretum. Okay, we are going up here. We're not going hiking today, guys. We are going back to work. Yeah. This is the Blue Ridge Parkway, and this will take us all the way over to West Asheville. Or no, East, East Asheville. East Asheville, yeah. Which, it just cuts out traffic, traveling traffic. You know, people don't travel normally this way. Very few do. It's not very often that you we have an exit and an entrance or an, an, you know where we need to go I guess that's so that's actually that what they're building that arrow the aerospace uh, I guess they're building propellers or something there turbines turbines on this new huge complex they're building it's supposed to bring millions of dollars in jobs here Yes. Yeah, like our economy here is like booming There's not even enough houses for people to move into. It's just crazy. There's a bridge down here. Yes. This 
bridge is going to be tore down and they're building a whole new bridge going across. There's going to be behind us. Like, Okay guys, we are back. I am going to add some rock here. That way this is all done out to here. And then just double check my height and everything real quick before Rachel brings me sand um, and my levels. So guys, I was gonna continue recording. Our phones died, we're going a little longer. We'll get you when we're done here, getting to wherever we're gonna get. We did not get as far as we wanted yet. So I need an ending to a video because I kind of don't put endings in and this one just ended with us finishing the- Because it was in the finish. dark. Yeah, it was in the dark and it was the first, we just started doing patio laying I out. think our brains were a little burnt um, because this is like the first big patio that we're doing and trying to make sure that we're not getting four corners and long runs. And there's no discernible, we didn't do a pattern in this patio. Um, we could have probably sat there and figured it out, but, um, you can do a random and it, it doesn't matter. We, I wanted to eliminate as many cuts as I could. And when I first started doing it, especially getting in a pathway, I got to where I was in the pathway of the, where it goes between the wall and the house. And I had cuts on both sides all the way down. So, but we didn't get that far in this video yet. No, we didn't. So you're jumping ahead. Yeah. Right so, so we didn't get as far as we wanted to in this video that you're going to see. Um, we were trying to have it done by Friday. The mm -hmm. customer was having a thing on Saturday. Um, and we just got rained out like every, every, we got rained out Wednesday completely. Yeah. Everything was soaking wet, but it's been every week we've had an inch. Well, you rain. guys have seen every week. And again, we're not going to complain because we need the rain for stuff to grow for us not to be too dry. And our clients um, aren't complaining. They're, they no. still love us. They still say you guys are doing an awesome job. Yeah. And as long as you're being, um, you know, very communicative with your clients, that's all that matters. Matters. I mean, even right now, like tonight, we're getting super cold. So plants that we planted in the ground, you like know, and stuff. yeah, I have clients saying, well, what am I supposed to do? Okay. So tips on, you know, keeping your, um, plants alive during water the frost, them. like water this, them definitely the water frost. them. Yeah. They, they survive much better if they have, um, a sufficient amount of water. So then, and then, yeah, cover some stuff that you know, like the rhododendrons will be fine. Any, um... It's just the hostas that we plan. Yeah, the out. hostas. Because they're peaking already. We've been really warm and nice, so they started growing, they started peaking. So they certainly will be affected, just like the Creeping Jenny was affected the first time. Um, it's getting super windy. Sorry, there goes the water bottle down the driveway. I'm gonna have to go get it. Yeah, so, um, you know, just... 
it's it's the season yeah it's the weather and whatever we just deal the best that we can and communicate with the clients the best that we can yes and, they, and they keep they everybody happy and most yeah. and we're like we're a different situation than a lot of people we've been with these clients have been with us that we're doing projects with now landscaping project for 10 years yeah. i mean a lot of our clients and they understand like there's all there's guys out mowing right now they've been mowing for a week and a half and it's not necessary to be out there mowing right now with how wet it is. The grass is shaggy, but these cold spurts have put them put them back some. Yeah, and that's why we pushed it off. And it's we like to fill in. yeah, some areas are a little bit longer, but some areas aren't. And then um, it's extremely wet. And with the freezes, like you can even see, some of our fescue was absolutely affected by that last oh, yeah. freeze. And the guys that are out there mowing, they're like. I know guys down there at warm season, they scalp their lawns. Yeah. They're up here scalping fescue. You don't want to scalp the lawns that low. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Brand new sod that was laid last fall, we went past and, and they, they scalped they, it. So bad it cut right into the roots and everything. Um, so. so I don't know if that's going to, I mean, you don't want to do that because that exposes ground and then it exposes um, a place for weeds to grow. So. Um, okay, guys. Well. We, we wanted to give you an end of the video, so we do appreciate you watching. Yeah, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy, guys. Or at least try. Have a good night.